Hello, Tiny Tim. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it looks even worse from that angle. Keep going. <laughs> right. See? Yeah, no. <laughs> talk, talk. Right. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Norton, I'm so excited about your Christmas show. Ah. But, sir, there, there'll be... <laughs> Brilliant. That's all you've got, bar. Yeah. <laughs> right. But, sir, there'll be big celebrity guests. Yeah. <laughs> scintillating conversation, sir. Humbug. And lots and lots of wine. Why didn't you say so? Let's start the show! <laughs> uh, because this is... Uh, you, do you want to sit there, Andy? You would sit, sit. Good Andy, good Andy, good oh. Andy. Good Andy. OK. Behave. Behave, don't to touch that. anything. <laughs> okay, I still don't. I, 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 yeah, anyway. Uh, <laughs> now, so this, this is our, our kind of cool down bit where, uh, you know, we do something extra to the show. Now, uh, do you have a hand mic anywhere? Anyone got a hand mic? Because I was going to come into the audience because <laughs> uh, a lot of ladies, uh, you know, I understand, a lot of ladies and possibly some gentlemen, uh, they've dreamt of the opportunity of meeting Andy. <laughs> Someone deserves the opportunity to nothing but no, just to shake the hand of Orlando Bloom. All right. Ooh. All right. So, can I see a show of hands? What? 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 Who? No, Betty. No. <laughs> uh, all right, Lady Lightning, Jelly Needles. <laughs> she wants to meet you. Uh, oh, oh, oh no, she's so keen. So keen. Uh, <laughs> look at you bouncing up and down with excitement. Uh, stand up, lady. Uh, what's your name? Jane. Jane. Mm. <laughs> now, why do you deserve to meet Orlando Bloom more than the others? Because I'm a hard-working, lovely mum of two, and I'm, I just... just That's why, because I'm just such a good mum and a good yeah. wife and... A good wife? <laughs> what a great wife, is it? Yeah. Jump his bones, I'm such a good wife. <laughs> What's your name? Jane. Jane. Jane, where are you from, Jane? Essex, Braintree. Braintree? Mmm. <laughs> uh, I know, it's gorgeous. I, I go there often. <laughs> now, uh, I love that lady, no. Put it. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> lady in shiny top. Her friend put her hand up and she was like, no, put your hand up. <laughs> the prize is mine. <laughs> All right, stand up, visory uh, woman. What's, what's your name? Camilla. Camilla, and why do you deserve to meet him? Because when I was... Oh, now, this is very good. Cool. <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> you, she was a school perf prefect, wasn't she? Yeah. <laughs> because I have been a project. Um, yeah. When I was 17, I went and stood in the rain for nine hours to see you at the premiere of the Two Towers, and you didn't come. Oh! <laughs> oh. Were you not at the premiere? Were you seriously not at the premiere? No, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah. 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 Yes, I was. I was just avoiding her. <laughs> <laughs> no longer. Uh, that, when I, uh, oh, you... It wasn't... It was, a, it was only supposed to be one. Could you bear to shake hands with someone else? Of course. Oh, bless. Oh, it may not be you. <laughs> <laughs> She's going, oh, oh, fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> She puts him work in. Think of a good sob story like that. <laughs> can we get a camera to this lady or no? Is that a bad place to go? Oh, yeah, we can, we can. Okay. Um, I'll come around the back here. All right. Here. What's your name, screechy woman? Tracy. Tracy. Why do you deserve to meet him? Look, he's so close. <laughs> oh, he's nearly so close. Come on, come on, quick. Cough it up. Um, uh, because, well, I, I think he's lovely. And he's... <laughs> Friend Carrie, we work really hard at a theme park, and my friend Carrie. Oh, oh no, you've dropped present. your something there now. <laughs> <laughs> my friend Carrie Richards would be so jealous. All oh, right, so you're doing it to punish someone else. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 that, and I happen to know you're, you're the lady from Winnipeg, aren't you? Yes. Now, when did you get here from Winnipeg? Today. Today? Yes. Well, this morning? Sort of, yeah. yeah. Sort of. Yeah. 
this I'm afternoon. Not sure. Time okay. difference. Of course, for an international jet setter, it's very difficult. <laughs> What's your name, Winnipeg lady? Stephanie. Stephanie. Yes. And why do you deserve to meet him? Because I came from Canada. Not to say it. <laughs> why not? You didn't know he was on the show. <laughs> oh, you're a psychic from Winnipeg. Yeah. Who, on a winner of prayer, got decided to come here. Else to do. How many? How many of you? Are you all from Canada? All of you guys? No. Look at that man going. No. Oh, who's a, oh, hello, Canon Lady. How, uh, do you hate that? Was it, did you we fall out on the plane? We got separated. You got separated. Yeah. That's straight, that can happen in London. It's a big city. <laughs> why, uh, why are you here? Is that part of a group or something? No, we just randomly decided to come and visit. You're just on holiday? Yeah. Okay, I, I, no, no. Uh, okay. okay. Oh, hang on. What? Because I'm single. Oh. 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 Uh, 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 no, we've got to talk. We must talk to Lady Lightning. Some blooms for Orlando. Are they really for Orlando blooms? Yes. Are they really? Yes. You really? Of course. I looked at your website earlier. And you saw that he was on, you brought flowers yeah. for him. And you put on a, an extraordinary Austrian hiking outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you obviously knew you'd be at the top of the audience. You know I'll that. need these for stair climbing, I thought. <laughs> uh, you, do, 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 it is flowers. Okay. Oh. What's your name? Cat. Cat. <laughs> it's Cat, everybody. Tonight, thank you again to Samantha Morton, Orlando Blue, and Andy. Three flowers. Three flowers. Oh. Now you get invited to red carpets and things. Yes. And, and literally on red carpets. Is this you? This is the time. <laughs> the time. The time. One hundred most influential people in the world ever. You're one of them. How did this happen? I don't recall that. Um, <laughs> I uh, was, yeah, they, I was one of the hundred most influential people, even though n no one here has heard of me. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was on the red carpet. And you know when you're doing interviews and the, the person sees somebody more important behind you, which is always for me. It's like being at a party and there's a hotter girl behind you and they're just like, ugh, like they just want you to drop dead. <laughs> and, uh, so I saw the reporter do that and all the reporters were going crazy and it was, Kim and Kanye, and just standing there, just like owning it, just like being like short and important. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I just couldn't help. I, I like think falling is the funniest thing, so I just I just took a dive in front of them. Photographers miss the moment when Kanye broke a smile. Or... No, no, they did not. That did not happen. And I must say, there's a follow-up picture where I love that, like, you're struggling for help in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> you could have been a drowning child. He was just walking. I was. Yeah, no, he did not crack a smile at any point. And then I talked to them after I saw them, and I said to Kim, um, I was like, oh, sorry. I, you know when you're, like, in front of a celebrity, I just become such a flake. I was just saying things I didn't mean. I'm like, you and your sisters, are just inspiring. And like, are you hiring at Dash? And, uh, <laughs> like, just nonsense. And, uh, and Kanye, like, was smiling at me, like, but, like, as if you programmed a robot to smile. Like, he was just like, uh, like, uh. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, but there's no way that either of them had any idea who I am. So that was comforting. Or why you're on the floor. In front yes. of them. But what do I look like a Pantene ad? Like, my, I look pretty good. No, you look great. Pretty good. I lucked out. A boob could have fallen out. Yeah. I really... This should be your red carpet pose always. That's what I should yeah. do. Just crawl the red carpet every I'm time. I'm going to do it. Awesome. Thanks, man. Uh -huh. Now, Stephen, do you like having your picture taken? Uh, no. <laughs> really. I, uh... Funny enough, on the red carpet thing... Reminds me, um, the first time we uh, we went to the Golden Globes. <coughs> wow. Yeah. No, no biggie, no biggie. Excuse me. Were you working? <laughs> you don't want one of those. No. <laughs> it's golden. Um, but we uh, we went along, it was for the office, and it was the British Rich, and we'd never been to anything as glamorous as, or as exciting as that. We got to, to do the red carpet, and all these super famous people were there, maybe Sam was there, I don't know. And... Um, 
And then they, we won, miraculously, and everyone had told us, you will not win, there's no <laughs> way, just go and have the free booze and the food and enjoy yourself. So we're there, and um, they call our names, and it was crazy, and if you look at the camera footage now, if you look at the... They, we were on a table so far away from the stage, because <laughs> no-one expected us to win. And so the camera's kind of looking for us, <laughs> and it can't see us, and then eventually, sort of, Ricky's little face pops up, <laughs> and then I sort of come up like a giant... <laughs> <laughs> and we sort of fight our way to the stage, and the announcer has no idea who we are, so he's just saying, uh, he, because Ricky's last name is French Canadian, the, the announcer says, uh, coming to the stage, Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant. <laughs> um, anyway, so they, they, they take our picture, we have all these photos taken, and then uh, everyone says, You're going to be in the paper uh, Monday, uh, in the British paper. And I was very excited, it was the first time I'd ever been in the paper before, and I was super psyched. Uh, as we say in America, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and, uh, and so uh, we well, had a photo, and and, uh, and oh, you've got it. Well, we've got the picture. Well, see if you can spot the the reason why I was a little bit disappointed by my first appearance in a national paper. Hmm. Okay, this is it. He's like, what do they want to see? They want to see, they want to see these guys. They want to see these bald heads in the bottom. <laughs> It's never changed, Cindy, has it? I, I, I tried. I got a lot of notes from elocution teachers. Well, when you started, people would write to you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I beg you, I beg you, change your No, voice. well, they said that they could teach me because they taught Julia Roberts and they taught Kathleen Turner and that they could teach me. And, you know, I tried, but it's a little boring. Because of your really... dialect? Yeah, it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, it's Adelaide from Guys and Dolls. It's fantastic. I know. A person could develop a cold. There you go. Rosie Perez on the show. Now, Ewan, he likes a road trip on the, on the bike, but even when you do that, you bring your dog, Sid, with you. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. No, I do. I have a sidecar that he goes in. We've Sid. got a picture. There's Sid. Oh, there Look is. at him. <laughs> I knew that noise. <laughs> he's a butch sort of biker dog, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, he's <Aww>. not. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a tattoo. Yes. <laughs> so it's <laughs> Ewan. And I, love <laughs> I love bitches. <laughs> <laughs> now, talking of uh, animals in transport, now, presumably, did everyone see the clip this week of that cat? that was in the microlight. So they, they took off and they didn't realise the cat was in the microlight. So the cat's up in the microlight. Now watch oh, this no. man. He does the best double take. So they're just chatting, he's looking down. Oh look, there's my house, you can see that. Now Where just looking it? around. Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't he tell her? What? He doesn't want to tell the... I think eventually he did tell that woman, kind of like, we kind of have to land. <laughs> right there so they did that but we found this other clip and this is I think it's an old clip but I hadn't seen it before it's two guys flying a plane and I don't, they must know I think they know there's a dog in the back seat but you can't see the dog and then they go into a nose dive I think or, or maybe a barrel or something but they reach kind of zero gravity okay so roll the clip so here they are this is them flying their plane and now they're go here they seeing they see the shadow they're going into the nose dive and look behind them here we go. <laughs> I love that clip. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did y'all come in there? I want to do that to my dog. Look at his ears go like. Actually, Ewan, have you done the zero gravity thing Actually. with your brother? No, I've been in a, in a plane with my brother. My brother was a fighter pilot in the RAF, and he took me up, he flew tornadoes, and uh, he, I managed to get a backseat trip in a tornado with him, which was extraordinary. Just because I'd never, I'd ne you know, I'd never seen him at his work, and there I could see just down the side, I could see uh, the, a bit of his helmet, I guess. And um, <laughs> he took it, we did a lap of Scotland in about an hour and a half, and it was extraordinary, but it's horribly... Um, it makes you so sick. It made, well, it made me very sick anyway. And I think he probably was desperately trying to make me very sick as well. <laughs> Did you pass out? 
I didn't pass out, no, no. I just puked. The most, <laughs> the most humiliating part for me was when we, la when we got back, because you have to get helped out of those airplanes, yeah. then, and there's a ground crew that come up on a ladder, and, <laughs> and you have to pass them your bag of puke. <laughs> That was so humiliating. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Twitter a photo, I think. Okay. Oh, I better Twitter because it okay. doesn't happen every if day. I'm in with him, yes. <laughs> you are one. Yeah, can I get one, Graham? I'll get one. Here you go. Keep it Thanks. Got, Thanks for, got, sorry got, to impose and everything, Graham. Yeah. Right, here you go. I realise we've got other cameras here. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> well, Uh, I'm going to swap places. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I feel like I've won a competition to be here. <laughs> Three gentlemen on my couch. A few weeks ago, they were at the Empire Film Awards. You all got a prize, didn't you? We all got a prize. We did. Yeah. But, here's, but here's the exciting thing. All three of the men also appeared on Empire's Sexiest Man of the Year poll. Wow. We're literally sitting on the poll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but where? On the pole. Who was top of the pole? <laughs> hey, oh, well, I'm 45. Which year are we talking here? This was the most recent one. This is the most recent one. Oh, yeah, I'm down. I'm way down. So, so oh, James, awesome. where do you think you were? Were you ahead of these two <laughs> oh, or were you below these two? Yeah. Good game, good game, good Came game. Came to me first, didn't you? Listen, if you could spend four hours with me and I could get you drunk, I'd be top of that pole. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> but uh, no, I'd say, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to hedge my, I'm, I'm going to be humble, I'm going to say last. And you're oh, right. He doesn't and you're right. It's like you guys! <laughs> it's over! I can tell you, this? This according to my this? wife, Street you are not I, the I bottom of that list. Oh, you won't? My wife has a serious crush on James. Oh, really? Yeah, it's serious. Wow. No, it's actually serious. No, it's actually serious. <laughs> no, you were 16th. You were 16th. 16th. But so you two, uh, what do you reckon? What do you reckon, James? Who was top of these I'm two? I'm going to go third, and what do you think? Oh, uh, your man on the end here. I'm. Well, no, I'm, I would I'm say... seeing two second or fifth. That's what I'm seeing. Oh, that's nice. What? Of you. You're saying second and fifth? Second or fifth for you, and I'm seeing third definitely for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very good. That's that's really good. Correct. I like it. <laughs> uh, you're wrong. Right. Thank I'll you. tell you now. Hugh <laughs> was ninth. I was oh, going to oh. say ninth. And Hugh I was going to say Jackman. sixth. No, he's not sixth. Third? No. Good. Five. Thank you. He's, <laughs> he's eighth. What? <laughs> but, can I just say, and this is no offence to the man, because I do like him enormously, <laughs> but the whole poll is made a mockery of, because apparently Benedict Cumberbatch is the first. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. Look at that couch. <laughs> Look at that couch. Benedict Cumberbatch, he's a very nice man. He's a very good actor, but no. <laughs> no. no. There's a lot of Cumberbatch. Where were you? Yeah. Hmm? Lot, Where were you, Graham? I was at home reading it. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say and very reading. Very sexy. Right. <laughs> 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 tweets, but sweet tweets. Do I? Can we show the picture of your dog? Yeah. Please. Oh, this is adorable. This is Jessica's dog wearing uh, the gold medal, Mila. <laughs> oh. 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 You know that room could do with a table. <laughs> I don't know if you've lived there long, but just an occasional, just something. Okay. Maybe a rug, just something. That's where she does her sit-ups. Yeah. <laughs> she looks cute, though. She does. Because Ricky, you just, you, you tweet pictures of yourself. <laughs> I've got a dog. <laughs> But you're trying to look as horrible as possible. Yeah. Is that the idea? It's a hobby, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and I think this may be the winner. The good news is you're unrecognisable, but the bad news is it is you. I do. Yeah. How do you do that? They're called bath picks. <laughs> just me in the bath. I do, I do one every now and again. And it, and <laughs> Honestly, I'm prouder of that than The Office. <laughs>
I want to see a bath pick. Everyone here has got to do a bath pick tomorrow. I promise tomorrow. I'll do one yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, Just I promise as well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have any means of getting it. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. It's, you don't it's, good. it's good for you. You just don't tweet. I haven't yet, no. Too cool tweeted. for school. No, I don't, yeah. I don't have anything that good to say all the time. I, you know, oh, I don't, welcome I don't to Twitter. <laughs> I, you know, I've done, I just don't know. Yeah. If you've got to play by those rules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The Pope's just joined. <laughs> I know, but that's the thing. That's what I loved about that is that I am now less current than the Pope. Yeah. <laughs> I am now technologically behind the Catholic Church. Yeah. 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 He, hasn't he hasn't tweeted happened. yet, though. He hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't tweeted okay. yet now. He's, um, he's, he's building up his, he's he's building up his following. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just with that. <laughs> Welcome to my sofa. Hello. Thank Hello. you. Thank hi, you. hi. Look at them now, all smiley and happy. Do you know what? Jessica Beale was so pleased you're back because we honestly didn't think you might ever come back on the show. <laughs> I was a little alone. <laughs> no, the last I was a little time. afraid of the last experience we had. Yeah. There was a very drunk Mickey Rourke beside her. Yes. Yeah. No, because we are all dog club. In fact, your dogs look a bit like that dog. You little dogs. They do. They really do. Little yeah. Dogs. My dogs look like that, but I have nothing in my house that looks like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and, but now, there's a weird connection between the two of you. No, there's a very good connection. <laughs> just, she, she doesn't know it yet. Um, just... <laughs> <laughs> but now, what I'm going to say, the connection between you is one of your dogs, yes. one of your dogs, yes. Uh, you rescued it when yes. it got a nail in its head. No, um, that was Bella Loca. Good connection. And how weird is this? Yes. Go. I just did a movie, but we haven't finished it yet, where I get a nail in my head. <laughs> well, I would just... You, you're, you're really not that good looking. I would just take you back to the pound. <laughs> <laughs> just drop me off. But He's trying a different tack. <laughs> This is, this is like a master class. <laughs> if that doesn't work, try being really rude. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. It was quite an experience. No, you were brilliant with it, though, because I think, like, another person might have freaked out, but you were very calm I and I was internally crapping myself. Oh, were you? <laughs> <laughs> it was so crazy. But, you, but the thing is, I did think afterwards, well, you coped with it very well, but then, you're a beautiful woman. You must kind of get hit on by, you know, people all the time. No, no. That, that is completely not true at all. <laughs> this is my night! This is my night! Hello! Hello. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting Bradley Cooper. I think he's, I think he's great. All right, all right. Yeah. You will. <laughs> he's, he's fit. <laughs> He is. he is. I'll just move over so you guys can yeah, sit In five years down the line, you'll just be there. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Acting drunk. I mean, how, how did you prepare to act drunk? Well, you don't want to act drunk. You want to act like you're not drunk. You are drunk, so you're trying to act like you're not. Instead of just, you know, staggering around. He, he, he was pretty lucid, you know, which was even more frightening. I mean, he's, he's drunk flying the plane. And I heard you talking about you, you watched uh, people on YouTube to see how drugs behave. Is that right? Yeah, you can YouTube drunks. <laughs> you, you can. You just YouTube drunks, and there's, there's one guy who takes about 10 minutes to put one shoe on. Oh, I think, well, we read about that. We found that. You found that? We found that. We also found a guy, I think he's leaving an Aldi. Right. And uh, he, oh. he has to go through a sliding door. OK. <laughs> here, here, he, here he is. So doing well. First one, not a problem. Not a problem. I'm OK. Uh -oh. I'm OK. I'm nearly out. I'm nearly out. I'm... Oh! <laughs> oh. 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 Now, 
We have the one you talked about, the guy with... I think this is the one. The one with the sand... Is it a sandal? Yeah, he's trying to put a sandal on. He's trying to put a sandal yeah, on yeah, at some festival. Here he is. Here he is. Yeah, well, this should be easy. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, no. <laughs> Just side. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, I... Right, 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 right. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh! oh. The story of the Good Samaritan. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, there oh, this poor guy. Oh, he's getting an arm. There you go. Now, now just uh, if go. you just stand up. There you go, Goy. Oh, you're all, you're all good. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, ladies. Yeah, yeah. Hello, ladies. That was my favorite one. <laughs> Maybe giving you your next film. Okay. Yeah, because there is a website called Simply Daniel Radcliffe Fan Fiction. Okay. Okay. And what happens on here <laughs> wow. is great. Is it? Have you have you been to this yet, Dan? Um, I actually didn't go on it. I was somebody. Um, well, don't worry. We're, we're bringing you here now. <laughs> Okay, so there you are. Unleash your heart to the world of Radcliffe. Simply oh, Radcliffe. God. Fiction. Right, here we go. So this one's this one's called Cabin Fever. Okay. Oh, here's the plot here's the here's the plot synopsis. <laughs> Maggie okay. is a president of her own clothing line, Mystique Clothing. She's taking some time off for a summer vacation. When she shows up, Daniel Radcliffe has taken her cabin. Now they have to share the cabin. And Maggie doesn't like him at all. <laughs> Brilliant. I like the way I'm not, it's not even like, no. it's the, I like the way it's not even like <laughs> fantasy fiction, it's, it's what, it, it's what, what, what it would be like if we met and they hated me. No, no, no. Yeah, exactly, yeah. This, this yeah I, know, called, I don't like him much. I don't like him hypothetically. Yes. Like, yeah. That's the yeah. 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 But then obviously yeah. you grow to love each other, I'm sure. Oh, okay. okay. These okay. are just little well, synopsis. So. Yeah. This one's called Distant Hearts. Casey's in love with Daniel, who's two years younger than her. She'd do anything for him. <laughs> but when he wants to break up with her, she runs off and gets hit by a car. <laughs> Film. Or maybe you teach her to walk again, something like that. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, Grace, this is solo. This is solo. Grace travelled down the lonely winding road to an old crossed off apartment building. She opened the door, covered with police tape, walks inside, and hears the gentle summing <laughs> of an acoustic guitar. God, I don't like myself in any of this. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry, they love you in all of them. Okay, very quickly, very quickly. Uh, Sierra and Clarice are best friends. They are both dancers. One's a professional dancer, the other's an exotic dancer. They are both in love with Daniel Radcliffe. Which one will he choose? Uh, it's tricky. Uh, they are very special. Thank you, everybody who, um, now, who writes them. Uh, we thought yeah. we'd freak him out by putting in... Oh, have you done one? No, we can put one in. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay, oh, so come okay. on, come on. So, uh, let's make it about uh, you and Jessica. You and okay. Jessica. Okay. Yeah. So, um, uh, what should we call it? Something, Olympic something. Yeah. Olympic... <laughs> um, Olympic... Um, porn? Um, no. Olymp <laughs> Olymp <laughs> Olympic world. Uh, Daniel, Daniel is a, an astronaut and he wants yeah. to start a new colony of people. So he finds the perfect woman... Oh, wait, 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 I've got to write this down. <laughs> This is great. We don't okay. Work. Olympic. Daniel world. wants to find his perfect woman. I've got to put authors in yet. Wait, hang on. <laughs> don't put my name to this. Oh, yeah. okay, no, you don't you dare put my name to this. Hard to be. No, I'm a professional writer. G. Radcliffe and Graham Norton. It's my show. <laughs> okay, so the story is, so what is it? So Daniel Radcliffe's an astronaut. He's an astronaut, but he okay. realises that Earth has only got a few years, Daniel. so he's got, to, he's got to go to another planet and start the human race again. <laughs> Hang on, I've only got the spaceman, because I can't spell astronaut. <laughs> Daniel is a spaceman. <laughs> he is starting another world. <laughs> so... He brings the perfect woman. <laughs> it's called Adam and Leave. <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, uh, will they be able to breathe? <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, His co pilot given to him oh, is. is Lieutenant Norton. <laughs> <laughs> Is. Who has other plans? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I'm submitting it. I'm submitting it. Uh, ad story. There we go. Lovely. That'll be on the site now. Just enjoy that. Written by all of us. Thank you. But, uh, Helena, your fans are rather... They send you things. They do send me things. I'm absolutely crap at answering them. Out. You've brought in a piece that I did bring in a piece that somebody said. This is the you. only thing that I've read in the last week. I apologise to anybody who sent me something, but I did. Uh, this, this is, is also sort of beautifully that it's is very made. nicely done. Yes, it's beautiful that some, a fan has made this. Uh, it's called 25 Things Helena Bonham Carter Has Taught Me," and it's things like you know um, uh, the best outfits don't have to match. Very nice. <laughs> uh, to believe in yourself. <laughs> Um, difference is good, always be true to yourself, follow your heart, and don't you see, judge that's others. Good. That's good, I was beginning to think like, oh, I'm, I'm doing a service, I mean, people feel better, that's nice, yeah, until you... number 17. And then get down to number yeah. 17, mm. uh, what Helen Bottom Carter has taught me, that it's okay to have short, thick legs. <laughs> My friend Donna said, like, just read it, it'll make you feel good. And I said, like, no, but I she hadn't read it all. And I said, like, okay. And I said, oh, yeah. and then I just said, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I never said it was okay to have short thick legs. And now I've obviously, you know. But maybe do you think she means that I have ones? Or maybe she, I'm making her feel okay about hers? Yeah, let's go with yeah. that. I think so. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, if I have made short thick legs fashionable, then I've done something really helpful. Don't you think? For yes. female. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Michael Beasley, I love, I love reading about your fans because your fans are proper fans. Like, people faint when they meet you, don't they? Well, a couple of times it happened. I mean, I'm not like a One Direction guy where they, <laughs> they just faint all the time in front of you. But yeah, I've had weird things and it's embarrassing for them. I feel yeah. horrible for them and I can see it happening too. And it's you happened, it happened at a smelling bar. smelling salts on you. I shouldn't have yeah, smelling have salts. Smelling salts. <laughs> it, well, then I couldn't slap them awake. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you can see it happening too because yeah, yeah. they get. And you know what? It isn't. It's not like the freak out of like the Beatles freak out. Of, oh my God! It's more like they. I'm talking to them and I say, "Oh, thank you so much." And then I can see it in their eye that they're socially anxious, and and they go like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe that!" And then you can see them fading, and all of a sudden it's. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, sometimes your fans can be very direct. What was it? That, did the fan whisper oh. something to you or? Oh God, this is horrible. But I. This is just, we'll give you an insight into who I really am and how gigantic my ego is. That I was at a signing at a book, like a bookstore, or, you know, a record store. Yeah. And this girl came up and she was very hot. And she was about 18, 19 years old. And she, uh, she looked at me with these very sexy eyes and she said like, oh, Michael, she said, does your penis give lessons? And uh, I was so happy about this, you don't even know. Uh, <laughs> my publicist with me and I looked at her and I said hey Liz I said you know this lady just asked me if my penis give lessons and this girl looked at me with the anger and she said I said does your pianist give lessons <laughs> I don't hear what I want to hear. Yeah. Oh, God. So it really does give you insight, so just be careful what you say to me. <laughs> but, uh, Flight, and your performance in it is phenomenal. Re you. It's extraordinary. You can so see why you got nominated for the Oscar. Thank so you. tell us about your character, tell us about the story. He is a pilot who has a bit of a drinking problem, and uh, there's a potentially catastrophic problem with the plane, and he crash lands the plane and, and then is considered a hero uh, but he really starts spiraling downward with, with more and more drink and, and, and people don't know about it and he's, he's a mess and uh, it's comedy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Ryan>. <laughs> You so 